Hey, Richie Dotson here from Chateau de Brie, a.k.a. my office, my shop, Acoustic Box, AcousticBox.com, Acoustic Box LLC in Chesterfield County, Virginia. I've got to show you this. Well, it's one of the most bizarre tenors that I've ever seen Gibson produce. It's 1929. Nice little Florentine. It's got a couple little spray E issues on it. The color is bizarre. Now that's the tenor neck, and we sort of retrofitted a uh, a different kind of neck on here. This is the color I had uh, such a bizarre time matching, and uh, wow, what a what a treat! So um, we went without the, uh, the gold sparkle on the sides um, just because we had this neck. And that's, he said, well, let's, let's attach that to it, get it to Banjo-thon. Um, uh, today is the 6th, and let me double check that. That is correct. Probably won't get this uploaded today because our internet, telephone, cable, everything's out right now. There's several, several folks. So um, either way. I wanted you to see this, and I wanted you to also see that it is an original flathead, uh, first gen. It's got the armrest mute. It's really kind of cool. I didn't set the lighting up today either, because uh, we're just we, it's been a crazy busy day. Just a really neat, unique instrument, and it's the uh, I may or may not get this right. It's the high profile, so the shorter, uh, lightweight, no hole, original flathead. Tone ring, crazy stuff. <laughs> this sounds really good. This is a pre-war flathead, Gibson. Ignore. <laughs> anyway, Don, love you. I'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> personality a lot of that pre-war splat going on gosh this is a great great sounding banjo and that's got a really cool odd neck but hey the original one was a little odd too oh, the lighting is kind of weird it almost has a 1972 barbie doll skin peach yellowish weirdness about it but wow <laughs> I haven't even spiked it yet. I will when the owner gets here. Check out the original, if you can see them. Should be, I should get some stills of this, but uh, the original two-band, gold-plated, engraved, mother-of-pearl button tuners. That's still a sexy headstock. If you can pull that shape off correctly, nothing looks better. If you pull it off wrong, nothing looks worse. <laughs> Anyway, gosh. Um, had to share quick little video. I will, uh, I'll upload this to uh, to YouTube when we get our service back. So uh, uh, some of these things are really too cool not not to show. And look, you know what happens to these, and we'll find one or he'll find one. But in uh, when these were made, those were brass, and the brass ones tended to break, and uh, that's the only non-survivor and. Uh, uh, there's a broken one probably in the case, but uh, gosh, what a weird, rare. Original pre-war flathead. 
In fact, John Bullard was here today uh, having some stuff done and he played it for a while. Of course, everything John touches is magic, so uh, it's just a great banjo. All right. <laughs> We do have a Neumann U87, so that's the best opportunity you're going to get to actually uh, hear it uh, without going through a cheap mic or just a, a uh, an iPhone, which does a pretty good job. But uh, you know, we just break out the big guns when we uh, when we when we get the uh, big dogs through here. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Uh, I know this is more entertainment than anything else, but. Gosh, what a what a rare old odd flathead this is. And uh, I don't care how obscure or famous you are, like the owner of this. Uh, this is just fun. These are these are awesome. I'm proud to have one of my necks on it. Have a good one. Thanks again for watching. Um, if you're viewing this on, on YouTube, hit the little subscribe button if you like this stuff. Like the video and share it if you want or dislike it. Your prerogative. Have an extra happy rest of the day and I hope your new year is awesome as well. Thanks.